Hi there, I'm Matt McEmory. I'm part of the agronomic team here in the central and west central part of the state of Illinois for Pioneer. And today I'm in some alfalfa and we're talking about an annual topic and that is alfalfa weevil. Um, actually not too surprised that we're seeing a little bit of alfalfa weevil in the west central central part of the state of Illinois. We had next to no winter. It was really mild in the state of Illinois this last year. And that influences insect survival and it influences the survival of something like alfalfa weevil, which overwinters here. If you don't overwinter here as an insect, the winter doesn't matter. If you overwinter underground, the winter really doesn't matter. But if you're something like alfalfa weevil and you overwinter above ground under residue, a mild winter means you come into the season at really high numbers, and that means probably you're gonna run into some injury. And we're beginning to see some of that. Now I'm gonna zoom in here in just a second so you can see what I'm talking about. But behind me, I can tell just right off the bat this is alfalfa weevil by the type of feeding injury that I'm noticing out here. You'll notice that the stem material is nice and green from the bottom up, lots of good looking leaves, until I get to the very top of the plant and that's where I begin to see that leaf skeletonization. Everything up to that point looks pretty good. That's a very typical feeding pattern of alfalfa weevil. It's a top-down feeder. We've talked about before, there's another pest very similar, looks somewhat like alfalfa weevil, some subtle differences, and it's called clover leaf weedle, weevil. And the unfortunate thing about that pest is it's a bottom-up feeder. So I would notice with that one, lots of skeletonization on the bottom of the plant with the top actually looking healthy. You can think about that being the worst of the two, right? Because if you're driving by the field and not actually getting out and parting the canopy to look down into the stand, you might actually miss it because the top would look good until they get to the very end of their feeding. Alfalfa weevil at least shows itself with top feeding that's our indication that they're present. Now, we're gonna talk just a little bit about what I'm noticing as far as pressure out here goes. We probably went into this growing season with a lot of alfalfa weevil overwintering, seeding this generation of larva that you see here, and then uh, we wound up with the consequences that you see here. And we have all different sizes and stages. You might just barely be able to pick up on um, an alfalfa weevil actually nestled right up in here. Um, in this little bud tucked away, uh, burrowed right down in there between my fingers. Um, we're at the point in this field where we definitely have something like 40% leaf skeletonization, and that is the point at which we definitely need to be doing something out here to, uh, to manage this pest. Now that could be an early cut. Sometimes that is what we can do out in the field is an early cut, um, or it could be a rescue application. If we're getting up on cutting time, uh, that's one kind of low tech way to kind of get this pest under control. I don't know that we've had enough moisture in the area here recently to really see any epizootics, any uh, fungal pathogens like uh, Zoophthora, if I remember how to pronounce that name right. Um, I don't think we're really gonna see those begin to whittle away at that population but again here we have a fairly impressive population of, uh, of, of alfalfa weevil uh, doing a lot of skeletonization and probably time for us to think of doing something in this field and not too surprised because it's an overwintering pest and this is one of the consequences of a mild winter. Okay so that's basically the story on alfalfa weevil. A mild winter, lots of survival, we're probably going to have to do something out here because we're at that 40% damage threshold. We probably can't really rely upon some of those fungal pathogens and parasites that help act as natural control against alfalfa weevil because we're just too far down the road as far as damage goes for them to turn that around. Natural controls are important. We're glad they're out here, but they're probably not going to solve the situation in this case. In this case, we're probably gonna to have to cut early or we're gonna to have to do some kind of insecticide application and pay attention to that harvest interval. Well, that's alfalfa weevil, one of the first pests that we deal with in the state of Illinois each year. And the pressure that we're seeing this year is real indicative of that next to nothing winter that we ran into in 22, 23. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk with you soon.
That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.